I'm Mother Rock. Welcome to my channel. And here are some hints of etiquette, urban etiquette, when there is a blizzard. And if you're in the eastern seaboard of the United States right now watching me, you know that we are having a blizzard. And a blizzard is defined as three hours or more of steady blowing snowfall. And the worse the visibility, the more you're likely to have a blizzard. It is 22 degrees here in Atlantic City. And it has been snowing all night and since before the sun went down last night. So when there is a blizzard, first of all, as in any time you have snow accumulation on your roof, it is a law that you must clear off the roof of the car before you start to drive it because so many traffic accidents happen when people snow blows off their roof and causes accidents as other drivers try to swerve out of the car and that is really bad. People got killed because don't be idiots. Another thing is be aware of if you happen to have things like icicles hanging down below your windows or any passers by, if they fall down, you could kill somebody. Be aware of that. Uh, another thing, when you are warming up your car, maybe you're sitting in front of your car, uh, you're doing it before you get your car through those remote things, and you may be on the ground with the seats in your car for five minutes before you get in, do not use that as an excuse to run it for hours at a time of these streets, especially if there happens to be a great deal of is your car is going to go into the stairwells of the homes around you. And if you're in an urban mixed use area, you have businesses, they have homes above them. You have people sleeping all around you. And if this is a casino resort town like this one, you have people working all kinds of shifts. So you never know when somebody's sleeping. So you being a dumbass is just rude and not being very neighborly. Another thing is when it's 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and certain neighbors decide that they need to shovel the sidewalk in the area around their cars when below is a blizzard. Snow is falling down quickly. Within 15 minutes, everything you shovel is going to be dumped. And then when you are shoveling out your car, you watch the direction that your snow is. You don't throw it either back onto the sidewalk or you just shovel. Necessitating more shoveling from the people who have waking them up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, as reported by some of my family members this morning, like my mother. Uh, and to repeatedly do this and dumping piles of snow into the streets so that when traffic has to pass by, they have to swerve out of these big chunks of snow and ice. And by the way, please pay attention to if you actually happen to get a phone call from your state telling you that a state of emergency has been issued and that you are not supposed to drive after a certain amount of hours. I have not seen any public transportation looking out my window. And so you probably shouldn't be out on the road, and yet you are on the road. I notice it doesn't seem to stop some of the normal activity, but at least it has cut down some of the noisy foot traffic. That's one thing I can say for a blizzard here in a busy urban area like this. Uh, also, while you are running your engine, please make sure that you don't have any clothes or tailpipes or carbon dioxide poisoning. Also, it would be a really good idea to check your home carbon monoxide meters, uh, uh, just like small alarms. And this time of year, people sometimes have extra meter, uh, extra heating systems. And in a blizzard, you know, be aware of in case we happen to have a power outage. I hope that you stay safe here. We have, I'm saying, over eight inches here. We were predicting between 12 and 18, maybe more. But other places like Boston really have. So if you're getting the snow, please be safe and. Have a nice day, and I will see you, and don't be too cold. It's cold out here. Brr. Oh, like my video, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the bell so it looks like it is ringing up when I post. I will talk to you in a couple days. Bye.